Hi, I'm Donald Sinclair. I'm a science teacher with Great Hall and the Tutors, and today we're going to be looking at a few topics in chemistry. A simple game that can be played using the periodic table, simply to identify which substances are elements and which ones aren't. A lot of very common substances that everyone will have heard of are not in fact elements. This reinforces the fact that if something is in the periodic table, it is an element. If it's not, then it's not. So you can give a list of substances such as gold, brass, water, hydrogen, ammonia, chlorine, and uh, methane, for example, and ask whoever it is to identify them as either elements or not elements. So by looking in the periodic table, they'd find, for example, that brass does not appear, therefore it is not an element. Another game is to use the periodic table as a form of bingo. In this game, uh, the players each select five or six elements of which they write down the names, while the teacher, or whoever's leading the group, reads out the symbols or the atomic number of random elements. Whoever completes their set of elements quickest wins the prize. This can be played in various permutations, whether you're reading out atomic numbers, symbols, or names, and similarly for what the players have down on their cards. Finally, another game that involves both the periodic table and maths is to give a series of equations which are expressed in terms of the element which the atomic number of which corresponds to. So for example, you could uh, give the sum in the form oxygen times lithium uh, plus neon divided by, he by helium gives you which element. This would then require finding the atomic number for these elements, completing the sum, finding the answer to that sum, and then working out which element it corresponds to. In this case, the answer would be 17, which would be uh, chlorine. 